Pass. This will be the last play of the third quarter with 16 seconds to play. Robert gives the spec. Spec crosses the 45 to the 48 yard line. And in a way, although Evansville's Blue Devils did scorch him, this could be a momentum builder stopping him from the two point conversion. 7 6 the score. Falls leads it. Devils 6. Tim Kinney reminding you to buy one Sunday and get their second one free. That's right now through November 2nd, the new Chief William Falls Brazier Dairy Queen has 10 delicious toppings for you to choose from. Sunday free. Open 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. located at Highway 32 and Fond du Lac Avenue. Troy Cleaners and Laundries of Sheboygan Falls is your complete family wash service at 48 yard line. And uh, I believe they, they spotted the ball. They, didn't uh, he get into the other territory? I can't believe that. I don't think so. Uh, back in across the midfield. And uh, it'll be a third down the color quarter. Third and two, you have to prove you can get the tough yardage when you need it. Third down seems to be all right. And uh, that, of course, is Tim Madsen. And so the Falcons line up. It's a now a third down and two in a crucial situation at the 49. Rutgers is close to a first down. I don't know if he's got it. He's on, on about the 47-yard line. Again, it all depends on a knee touch. But a great juke move to get that yardage is Rutgers had heavy traffic. Bill Alvey is number 85. He wants to get right in there. That's Todd Heritage. As uh, right now, the chains are being brought in, and there'll be a big call right here. It's either fourth down an inch or inches or just enough for the first down. They got it by the length of the football. So fourth, first and ten. Brad Rutgers knew where he had to get those Falcons as they lead this contest seven to six here in WPLY. They dodged a big bullet late in the third as Evansville missed a two point conversion. Couple goes in motion. Wolf now lines wide to the right. The pitch is to Speck. Speck looks for direction at the 50. He's still moving. He's got a block at the 45. Brings loose at the 40, 35 down to the 32 yard line. Scott Speck doing a little traffic directing. Managed to get himself 13 yards along the left sideline and broke it up for him for a big positive yardage down to the 36. Two yard line, a big 13 yard gain for him, and uh, first down for Scott Smith, who's really been carrying the ball well for Sheboygan Falls, picking up the slack. Brad Rutgers, the ball carrier, he crosses the 30 yard line down to about the 28. They'll give him a gain of five on the play, and again, Falls in there, two out, grind him on offense, second down and five yards to go right here. You don't take a little bit of the time, have to keep the ball on the ground. We have seen the problems Sheboygan Falls has had protecting the quarterback. They have uh, had four sacks in this ballgame as Evansville Albany, and when they haven't sacked him, they've made him hurry. And the officials call timeout. There is an equivalent problem with Brad Rutgers. Up to the line now at the 28 yard line. And it's a deuce backfield right now for Speck. They put Couplet in motion left. Wolf is line wide to the right in the flanker spot. And this is Rummer giving to Rutgers. Rutgers looking for the first down. Gets outside. He's got it at the 20. And he tumbles his way to the 18 yard line. It's a first and 10 now for the Falcons. And they mark the ball back at about the 20. That's where he went out of the Sheboygan Falls has to be happy. They've been able to keep this ball on the ground, keep the clock moving, and slowly but surely move down. On the field. First and 10, 20 yard line, spec the ball carry. Swoops right, 15 yard line. He makes a juke move of the 10. First down, moves down inside the six yard line. He fumbles and goes out of bounds at the eight. Break for Falls. He fumbled the football as he was tackled at about the six yard line. The ball went straight out of bounds at the eight. It's a first down and goal to go for the Falcons. Lamar tried to do it, but in, he did get it loose, but unfortunately for the Blue Devils, it went out of bounds. Break for the Falcons, first and goal on the nine now. The give is to spec up the middle, down to about the eight yard line. This time a different situation. Usually you would expect Rutgers to smash up the middle, but the Falcons trying to confuse a little bit. Wood was specked up the middle and he gains a yard, second down and goal at the eight. And making some ability, he was able to bring down Speck for no game. Call it second and goal at the eight yard line. Cup looking tight on the right, Wolf line wide to the left. This time the game was to Speck, he gets down to the five, he crashes his way there. It's going to be a third down and goal. But again, credit to the Blue Devil defense of doing the job, stopping the run play. Uh, stop them for a short game down to the, both the six yard line, Chris, and that'll set up third and goal from the sixth, and Sheboygan Falls right now needs about six yards for a touchdown. There is no more first down. Third and goal at the sixth. Let's see what Yidis comes up with. Rolling out Robert. He's got good protection. He sweeps to the left side. Penalty flag on the play. Touchdown. Touchdown in the end zone for the Falcons. They complete the pass to Shan Tempest, but again, a penalty marker at the 10 to check out, and it's against the Falcons. The next up clip as they had a clip wide up, and it was an unnecessary clip as it was away from the action and Sheboygan Falls in disbelief as they got called for one leg. Timeout Sheboygan Falls, 8.56 to play in this one in regulation, we almost have to say. The Sheboygan Falls Falcons 7, the Evansville Albany Blue Devils 6. This is moving to a new location, 112 Pine Street across from Evans. Be sure to stop by there at the new location this week at 112 Pine Street in Sheboygan Falls. That's Sideline Sports, the store for Falcon fans. It's the has got a great feel, why not? Third and goal of the 25 for the Falcons. It's big payoff time right here. And again, watch Wolf and Couplet. Couplet moves in motion on the left. Wolf to the right side. This is Robert back to throw. Good protection. He's looking for Wolf in the end zone. Incomplete. Out of the outs.
stretch hands of Brian Wolf, fourth and goal for 25. And that pass just a little bit wide. Brian Wolf had went down to 15 yards, so it must be some sort of. a big one. It must be interference or a, some sort of uh, roughness penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct has been Ooh. waived against Evansville Albany, and that is a big break for Sheboygan Falls. First, Jim, is the down marker correct? And so we're right now at fourth down, is that correct? I believe so. Fourth and goal was after the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. 13 yard line, Rama rolling out to left. He's looking for the corner of the end zone, intercepted by Benash. Benash at the 10. He's got a sweep man at the 15 to the 20 and down to the 22 yard line. And that's where he's marked out of bounds right there at the 22. Is that a penalty marker that flew out? No, it was just a spot of the ball. beat Scott Speck. And uh, Scott Speck able to bring him down for me, which is why they help make dreams come true. Whether your dream is a new home, car, or boat, a college education, Kohler Credit Union wants to help you make your dreams come true. See the Kohler Credit Union at Kohler, Plymouth, and Howard's Grove. Kohler Credit Union, the credit union for everyone in Sheboygan County. Evansville Albany with a first and 10, 23 yard line. The give is to Grossman, 25, and that's all he gets. A gain of two on the play. He's being wrestled there, and uh, the officials break up the play. A little bit of heat and tempers right there. 33 wrestling him down in the. That in between and separated them after a gain of three by number 40, Jade, and we should mention that once again, Jade Grossman. So Grossman with the ability to break tackles, ball is not letting him out of their grasp. Grossman and Binash, Binash the ball carrier, sweep right side, he gets a block, then he's stuffed into the line of scrimmage, and down he goes at the 26 yard line. Only a gain of one on the play, it's going to set up a third out of seven. And he tried to keep the ball on the outside, the ball's Falcons, those stayed at home and brought him down for no gain, sets up a big third and seven situation, and once again, taking the option away from Mark Z. They had some success running that option in the first half, we have not seen it here in the second half. Third down, seven yard to go. Chris Arnold and Jim Kinnett live from Beaver Dam. Incomplete out in the 35 yard line and that's going to force the Blue Devils into a punting situation. Intended target out there was a believe quarterback. He likes to throw on the run but the Falls Falcons have turned him into a pocket quarterback and that is not Z's 14. Z needs to be out in the open as Falls has done a good job containing their pass rush. Line drive kick. This will be returned at the 40 yard line. Uh, he's looking for a cutter down to the 45. Walner to the 50. 45. 40. Walner to Directing traffic to the 35 and down he goes to the 32 yard line. An excellent return by Mike Walden. And you can see they broke it down the sidelines, cut inside of the 32 before he was brought down. And I'm knocking at the door again. He's at the 32. Mike Walden, key performer on special teams for Sheboygan Falls. First and 10, 32 yard line. Give to spec. He tries to direct traffic, breaks the tackle to the 30 and down he goes to the 29 yard line. And uh, gain a three, but a great job by Scott Speck to stop that play from being coming a loss. He did turn a loss of one into a gain of three. Nice game. Fine play by Renly. Moving over from his linebacker position, brought him down and sets up a second and eight for Sheboygan Falls. Blue Devils have played a well of the game defensively right here. They've been the victim of some poor field position and turnovers. Second and seven, Rutgers up the middle. He tries to get down to the 25 and down to about the 24 yard line. He's about three yards short of the first down and will set up a third down and three. Good. So offensive line against Evansville, Albany defensive line. And who's going to own the line of scrimmage? Big four yards to be picked up and two downs for Sheboygan Falls to get it. It's been a whale of a ball game as we have just over. Five minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this contest. Fourth and three, moving up the middle Rutgers. He's looking for the first down at about the 27 yard line. Third and three, I should say, 22 yard line. And we'll have to see where they mark the football. Hopefully they mark the football. Again, it's on the 22 yard line. It'll be very close here. And it is short by about three inches. Sports bring out the best in our community and whether we're on or off the field, we all recognize it's posting on the 22 yard line. And uh, here are our men now, Specton, oh, Rutgers, or look for Rutgers to get the ball behind Romer. Everyone in tight on this play. Freezing at the line of scrimmage, kind of a long count here. And now Romer will take time out here and he does, he gets it. Time out, Sheboygan Falls Falcons here with 529 to play this one at a 7-6 Falcon lead on WPLY. Jim Kinnett reminding you of the Blue Devils, and it's a great game, Jim. It certainly has, but boy, it's got everything you need in here in the fourth quarter. What more could you ask for? Well, let's ask for a quarterback sneak from Romer. I think he's got the first down. The Falcons indicate they do. He pushes forward to around the 21-yard line, and yes, it is a first down and 10. Big Sean McMillan was able to eke out the first down. Nice block by McMillan in the... Falls has a new set of downs. It's first out at the 20 yard line looking to get another score and get some breathing room between them and Evansville Albany. Clock rolling, 5.06 to play in this one and we have some motion on the line. The scrimmage this play will not develop and will back the Falcons up five. When the front interior didn't move their feet on the bad snap counter, it'll back up five first down and 15 yards to go. That stops the clock with 5.05 to play in the early fall game. And Sorry, for Evansville, but that Al Albany defense toughens up and just doesn't allow the Falcons to get into the end 
zone. Good job by Coach Jerry Grosby and the Evansville Albany Blue Devils. First and 15 at Rutgers is stopped after a gain of one on the play. Get them out to the 24 yard line, but the clock continues to roll. 415, it's an ally of the Sheboygan Falls Falcons who lead this contest by one. 24 yard line, and once again, falls in depth in four down territory as they don't want to risk the interception. I believe we'll see them try to keep this ball on the ground and keep using the clock. Second down, 15 yards to go. Romer straight drop. This time he draws at the 20 yard line. He tries to make a juke move and get outside. He does not do it out of bounds at about the 22 yard line. And uh, that was a slight critical mistake because uh, they could become your best ally right now. And Sheboygan Falls, as we mentioned, keeping the ball on the ground. They want to keep that clock moving. Third down, 12 yards to go. Romer back to throw. Good protection. Looking for Wolf in the corner. Incomplete. We have a penalty mark involved about the five yard line. Joby Nash providing the coverage out there and there could have been a shove and we'll have to see. It was Shed Tempest actually the intended ball carrier. Who was and on the, the coverage was number 11 Mark Z. It looked like just the one but he had a double one. That is Mark Z. And right now a big penalty play thrown here at a crucial junction in this contest. This is on the 11 yard line. It's a first down and 10 yards to go for the Falcons. Two setbacks behind Rama right now. They're split out of the eye and let's move it over to Speck. Speck gets a block of the 10 and goes right <laughs> Flags and gets down to the seven. All three judges throwing the line judge, lines. field judge, back judge, every judge, anybody who had a flight left fired that judge baby. Wapner, Something uh, pretty obvious. They detected a hold in the middle of the line. And what this play. And again, we're inside of four minutes to play now here in the fourth quarter. The Falcons leading at 7 6, knocking on the door for more. First down and 15 yards to go. Getting over to the middle, down to about the 15, and that's about it. They're stopped right there. Scott Speck, the ball carrier, for a gain of five. And now we have a timeout called by the officials. They want somebody to come in from Evansville, as we have an Evansville player down, and he's uh, kind of reeling and rocking there on the ground, and we don't know what seems to be the area of concern. For the play, we have a timeout with an injury right here. Troy Cleaners and Launders. And Blue Devil, he got back on his own power. That's certainly good news, and expect him to check back into the game. I believe it's just love cramps. Anyway, it's a second down, and uh, they can actually get to the one for the first down. They're right now resting on the 16, so we're calling second and 15 with two setbacks now. Specked and Rutgers. Romer rolling out on the right side. Good fake on that one by Romer, but he does get down to about the 12-yard line before he stopped there. Did he stay in bounds? Yes, he did. The clock continues to roll. 3.28, the clock rolls. No, but they're not going to get it. 3.02 and the clock is rolling now. Three minute mark here and Evansville trying to hold right here. Sheboygan Falls deep in their territory at the 10 yard line. Looking over the middle, complete on the dump pass. Down about the one yard. He's over the end zone. The touchdown and they've got it. And great job by the Sheboygan Falls Falcons. Inside and breaking it to the inside. Chad Tempest, they just stopped it. And they're going to try to go for the extra point, which could force a touchdown and two point conversion from Evansville Albany. Big clutch play right there on the third down pass. They went for 10 yards. Tempest with a touchdown. And boy, is this conversion big from Frosto. Snap down, kick up, and it is good! And it's 14 to 6. So the Sheboygan Falls Falcons have an eight point lead here at WPOYs. We're live from Beaver Dam, and Sheboygan Falls now about two minutes and 53 seconds, and some good defensive plays away from the semifinals in divert time. There are certainly no strangers to their backs being to the wall. They've had it happen four times, and it's definitely not over yet. And a 4 7 and a 47 second touchdown return as Evansville was able to defeat Whitewater. Just ask the Whitewater fans what to do on this kickoff return and look for Frosto to try to keep it away from B. Nash. He has been their main return man all season long and he'll get it at the 20. B. Nash down at the 20 to the 25 and he's stopped by the Falcons at about the 26 yard line. There'll be no long return on that one. Down to about the 26. It's a first and 10. And providing the first as they mark it at the 26 for Ebony Al Evansville Albany as uh, they need to score the tying touchdown. Tough to see Evansville Albany real fast. Z first and 10 26 yard line. He rolls out. He's looking deep and he's got a man open and completed about the 45 yard line making a diving attempt for that uh, reception was Jason Selma, his favorite target down at about the 46 yard line incomplete. Selma, big uh, reception right there for Selma and it's second and ten for Evansville Albany there at the 26 yard line and we have just over two and a half minutes left in this contest. It's second and ten. 2.31 to play, ball resting on the 26 yard line, and it's a first, second down and 10 yards to go. Rolling out now, it's a reverse play, and this is Bratsky. Bratsky's looking on the outside, 25, gets a block of the 30, he's close to a first down over the 35 to about the 36 yard line. He's gonna be about, oh, a couple feet short. They might the extra yards he could, did Bratsky, and they have this thick fully out stretch, he's gonna be about three inches short. 
That's indeed where he is. So the Blue Devils, three inches away from a first down here. They Snake Skinny Buffet has become famous and comes with all the home style trimmings you want to dine on. The villager can also help you with your Christmas parties. Call 467-4011 for rates and information. And